Yo, what's up guys? Bingkong sini. Imagine anda boleh jana seratus ringgit dengan guna AI Chat GPT ini tanpa modal mulai hari ini. Jom belajar. So, cara buat duit online ini adalah dengan jual e-book. Dan ini bukan cara buat duit yang baru. Tetapi sekarang dengan AI Chat GPT ini, kita boleh lebih senang untuk jana duit dengan jual e-book. So, dalam video ini, saya akan kongsi cara step by step yang anda boleh ikut untuk mula online business anda ini hari ini. So, make sure anda save video ini dan pause video ini jika anda perlu. Now, let's learn. So, first of all, Wing nak cakap terlebih dahulu, ini bukan skim cepat kaya, alright? You have to work super hard untuk dapat jana duit just like any business, alright? Jangan tanya saya, Wing, um, berapa duit yang saya boleh jana dalam satu bulan? It depends on how hard you work, alright? So, step pertama, we need to know apakah e-book yang kita nak jual. So, it really depends on you if you have a specific topic yang anda nak create on an e-book form, then you can go ahead and create it. For me, I will choose category yang saya minat untuk mula. For example, finance. Then, I will go to website seperti um, Amazon Kindle yang jual e-book and look for what sort of finance e-book yang sedang hot selling. So, just go to Amazon Kindle yang juga merupakan one of the biggest website that sell e-book. You can put in the keywords in Amazon Kindle. Then, it will show you the topic of some of the top search um, e-book keywords. So, we have finance for dummies, finance for non-financial managers. Hmm, this sounds interesting. Finance for the people. You also can go a bit deeper by putting satu lagi keywords to be more specific and more niche down. For example, finance for kids. Ataupun apa-apa je keywords yang anda nak letak. So, for example, I am interested with finance for non-financial managers ini. Another things that yang kita boleh buat adalah go to advanced search. Put it the direct title like Best selling. So those are the top selling ebooks that directly related to the title. Or if you want to have a broader topic and then not lagi banyak um, ideas tentang topic itu, then anda cuma letak finance. So it will give you more options. And the top ebook that relevant to finance will be on top. So ebook topic dengan cara search ini will be much more broader and a mixture of different different ebook. But it will be relevant to money to finance. Alright, so anda dah tahu macam mana nak buat research untuk topik ebook anda. Next, anda perlu write an ebook. And here is where kita nak guna ChatGPT. So just go to ChatGPT. Jika anda tidak tahu macam mana nak register, boleh rujuk ke video atas ini. Sebagai contoh, finance for non-financial manager. Inilah ebook yang saya nak tulis. So, kita perlu plan terlebih dahulu structure ebook kita. So, first, kita perlu topik untuk ebook ini. Let's say it's 9. Then, kita perlu isi kandungan. So, what I will do first is that pergi ke chat GPT and type in, imagine you are a finance expert. Write me 9 topic for finance for non-financial managers or whatever keywords that suitable for your ebook. So, chat GPT ini akan bantu kita brainstorm the 9 or 10 or whatever topic for us. Lepas tu, copy dan paste it to words. So, once kita dah ada semua ini, next thing that I will do is ask ChatGPT to further elaborate each of these points. So, for an example, imagine you are an expert finance, write me 1,500 words explaining by budgeting for a non-financial manager. So, it will just do its works. Once done, same thing, copy and paste it to words now. It is very important that you check and edit the information um, that generated by ChatGPT before you're pushing it out. Next, what you're going to do is just repeat the whole process until you have 
everything done, the whole ebook. Alright, next, kat mana kita nak jual ebook ini? Sebelum kita teruskan, make sure anda subscribe dan save video ini. Nanti terlepas peluang buat duit ini, susah nak cari balik. Alright, so two places yang saya sedang guna, the first one is Kubo, second is Draft2Digital. Both are very similar. Just choose one. So website ni akan bantu kita jual ebook kita ke berpuluh website. For example, from Apple all the way to Amazon juga. Dalam video ini, I will go through Draft to Digital. Okay, just register your Draft to Digital account first. It is 100% percuma. Once you register, you can directly upload your book here. Now click on Add Book. You will get to see two options here: ebook or print book. We just want ebook for now. Here adalah pretty simple actually. Just have to follow all of the um, things that um, we need to fill up in Drop to Digital. However, make sure your ebook is already done before you jump over here. First thing first, cover art. Size untuk cover ebook kita adalah 1600 times 2400 in the format of J JPEG or PNG. So this is pretty easy. Just go to Canva, create design and custom. Put in the size and create a design. Next, kat sebelah kiri sini, type in keywords for your ebook and pick whichever cover template that you like. Put in the title and download it when done. Then back to draft to digital and upload it. So your cover will look like this. Yeah, pretty good. Next is to fill up everything here. First, put in your book title, language English. So if this is a series, then you put a series number. Mine is not a series and um, you know, and it's not volume as well. Mine just an individual ebook, so I will just ignore everything. Publishers, I don't have, so I will just put my name. Search term is very important as this is Chara Yang Pembacher. Dapat search, dapat cari, discover buku kita. So if you do know any search term, you can just ask ChatGPT to create for you. So I will just go to ChatGPT and go to like, um, give me 10 keywords that related to finance. So it will just do its jobs. And all I have to do is just copy and paste it to draft to digital. Author name is just my name. My book does not contain content in proper for minors. Pick your ebook category. So just type in the main keywords and um, choose from whatever that is given by draft to digital Once done, let's go to the next page. Upload final manuscript, which is to upload your ebook. So a few things that you need to know before uploading or before even you create your during creations of your ebook. So you have to make sure all the topic is on heading. If not, when you upload your book, your ebook, it will look like shit. All right. And my suggestions: do not use Canva to design your the whole ebook. I have done that before, and it looks shit as well. So it's best that you just copy and paste or do it on your Microsoft Words. And I know that you want to make your ebook chante chante, but more complicated design will actually make your ebook look shitty when you upload it. All right. So keep everything very simple. At least for the first five to ten ebook, after you dah jadi expert, baru main pattern. Okay, so current just keep things very simple, and do not need to convert your ebook to PDF. Just upload the whole words file. Okay, next book description. So what I will do is ask ChatGPT to help me on it. Yeah, just let it do its job. Once done, copy paste and edit if needed. We can skip this short ebook description here. So skip this to select give me a free draft to digital ISBN. Save and continue. Right, first, it's super important for us to check the chapter layout first. Right, just click on this red button. So if you put all your main topic using heading one, as I mentioned just now, it will lay out nicely like this. Okay, if you don't, then you might screw the whole things up. All right, let's continue. And it's very important that we check the preview first before uploading because this is what the um, readers will get to see, get to read. 
So if here is like shit, then they will read shit as well. So Jiganda, follow my step, you should be okay. But um, yeah, maybe need a bit of space in between the line and pretty much that's it. Next, pricing. When it comes to pricing, unless we are super famous writer and author, then we can uh, put a, a bit high on the price. But now we are not. So what you can do is go back to Amazon Kindle and do a quick price comparison. So it's about below $15 most of the time, most of the ebook. And this $9 plus ebook have great sales. So I will just price mine on $6.99 or even lower. All right. But I think $6.99 is a pretty good numbers. In general, I will just take all. All right. So for Amazon, we would need extra steps. All right. But um, yeah, just take everything here for now so that our ebook get listed into all of the main ebook selling platform. Library price, I will just keep it as it is. I am the original. Okay, confirm and submit. Next for Amazon, you need extra steps. Okay, yours might look different from mine as I already submitted all the needed details which include tax um, to them. So all you have to do now is just give whatever information that needed. And if you do not like so much fun, you know, just untake Amazon and don't sell it on Amazon. If you want, then you have to provide every single things that Amazon need from you. All right. So you don't ask me how and you know, whatever, just give all the information because that is what Amazon need from you. If you do not want so much fun, I don't have this. I don't have that. How then just untake and don't sell on Amazon at all. All right. So my application is still pending now for Amazon. So let's wait for a bit while. So apart from this, my ebook is in the process publishing already. And congratulations, you have just published your first ebook using ChatGPT. All right, so that's it for this episode video. Hope you enjoy and see ya. And for those that are interested about um, the payment, so for draft to digital, they actually pay through direct deposits, um, US direct, direct deposit international. All right, via transfer and bank currency if you want. I have not tried this before actually. Let's see. Ringgit. Do I have ringgit here? M M M. Then you just put in all of the information. But for me, normally I would just put um PayPal. Alright, so it's up to you. Alright, see you guys and take good care.